Hi, it's John from the Daily Market Farm, and today we are talking about tomatillos, growing and harvesting tomatillos. So if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit like. So, growing tomatillos is pretty simple. I'm in zone 7B, and we're on the Connecticut shoreline, so uh, these plants are from Mexico, originated in Mexico, and basically they're in the nightshade family, and the nightshade family is uh, tomatoes, eggplants, uh, potatoes. Tomatillos grow much like tomatoes. They're very similar. They grow similar. They're, they start out small just like tomatoes do, but, uh, and very similarly like tomatoes, they get out of control and they get unruly. So you can see I've staked these three feet apart and you need that sort of room if you're going to grow these and you can just see they just go out in the aisles and they take over. So if you're going to grow these yourself, make sure that you have lots of room to grow them. They like full sun. Like I said, they originated from Mexico so they, they do not mind the heat at all. So out in the full sun um, and they usually start to come around. Uh, end of August, September. So right now I'm getting tomatillos and I'll show you what they look like if you harvest one. So what you want to look for is they have this paper husk on there and this one isn't hasn't split the husk but it's dry. So the husk isn't going to grow anymore and this isn't going to grow anymore. So just to look inside there's this apple looking fruit inside and it's got like a sticky film on it which will go away when you cook it it's just it just feels sticky but it's, there's nothing uh, nothing bad about it you don't have to wash it off you could eat it raw and if you eat it raw to me it tastes kind of like a granny smith apple kind of sour kind of maybe a cross between an apple and a tomato um, I like them raw but uh, people use them for if you've ever had salsa verde this is what you're eating these are chopped up and making made into salsa verde or you can do like a uh, uh, you have to cook them to do salsa verde but you can do like a raw cold um, like a salsa with it too uh, there's a lot of things you can do with them but that's the main thing um, the other thing is some of these will tell you that they're ready if I can find one here, that's a dry nut. So this one here, you can see, has already split the husk on it. And that's how you also know that they're ready. But they don't always split the husk. Like I said, this one here is another dried one. But this is fine. So basically what you're looking for is they come in these paper shells. Here's another one that's split. Um, so here's one that's not quite. So the bag is still not filled out completely, or the husk, but if you look inside, it's still, you could eat it, but uh, it's always best to wait till it grows into its full size. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So a lot of people, they get stuck growing tomatoes, cucumbers. So this is a nice, easy way to expand your growing they're very simple to grow. Uh, don't be afraid to try them. Uh, I don't see a lot of people trying them. Um, you know, it's definitely a, an easy thing for you to do. So it's highly suggested to try and branch out and do different things. You know, just experiment in your garden. And uh, if you're going to do that, try tomatillos. I like them a lot, and you probably will too. All right, that's all for today. And I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and, and hit subscribe.